Hey, welcome to Southern's Barbecue. I'm Patrick, and today we're going to be talking about making sweet and spicy barbecue sauce for a crowd. I recently made brisket for our company picnic, so I had to make sauce for 20 to 30 people. So today our recipe is going to reflect that. If you need to serve fewer people, feel free to cut this in half or in a quarter. When making a sauce, I like to use allium, sugar, acid, spice, and fat. Assassif. Assassifasis. Ah, whatever. For this recipe, our allium is going to be one whole onion and four cloves of minced garlic. We're going to cook our onion on low for about 15 to 20 minutes and add our garlic right as the onions are getting translucent. Stir those together for about a minute before adding our three cups of brown sugar. That's right, three cups. While the brown sugar is melting, we're gonna ready our acids. We're gonna start with one and one third cups of apple cider vinegar, which is the most popular acid for barbecue sauce. Then we're gonna take it back to the 17th century by squeezing and sifting five limes and two lemons. By now, your brown sugar should have fully caramelized, and to prevent it from burning, let's go ahead and add in our apple cider vinegar and our lemon and lime juice. Give them a quick mix, and then we're going to throw them into the blender so that we can puree the snot out of them. We really want this sauce to be silky smooth, and doing it at this stage is going to prevent it from turning color later after we've added the tomatoes. At this stage, your sauce will be plenty silky smooth, but it's also gonna be a pretty light brown. So we want to darken this thing up, give it a little bit more sugar. So we'll start with some unsulfured molasses, give it a full, healthy cup. Add it to the sauce and give it a good old stir, and you'll see that sauce start to darken. Oh yeah. Next up, a full 29 ounce can of tomato sauce, which is gonna give us sugar, acid, and umami. Speaking of umami, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. A fourth a cup of Lee and Parents. Mixing it in, we'll see the sauce darken again. Next, we'll turn to spices, which we'll measure out by weight. 30 grams of ground mustard, 10 grams chipotle powder, 10 grams smoked paprika, 10 grams diamond crystal kosher salt, and 10 grams coarse black pepper. Dump the spices in the sauce and give them a very thorough stir. In fact, instead of a spoon, you may want to use a whisk here to help break up the ground mustard. Finally, we want to add four whole sticks of butter. It may sound excessive, but it's going to help blend all the flavors together in the end. Simmer for about half an hour and make sure to take off the heat before you bottle it. Making sauce this way can seem to some to be excessive, but you know what goes into it. And ultimately, the sauce is gonna taste better than almost anything you can buy in the store. 